Good morning, folks. Today is February 25th, 2019, last um, trading week of February, and TGIM. I'm happy to be here in front of the computer pre market. And we have a couple things on Forks Factory uh, final wholesale inventories coming out at 10 uh, Eastern, and then FOMC member speaking today at 11 o'clock Eastern, and that's medium impact. So uh, we're getting a pretty big uh, gap today on the markets on SPY. It occurred to me that maybe not everybody is clear on my charts here. I have Facebook top left, Apple top middle, SPY top right, the Q's bottom right, UVXY bottom middle, and Netflix bottom left. And I'm looking at all of these charts simultaneously, looking for a chart with, of course, my favorite being uh, the Q's, SPY, Apple, and occasionally I'll trade uh, Facebook, but I use UVXY mainly for uh, directional purposes. Well, it's starting to look a little bit better at shaping up um, both the Q's and SPY. Um, still got a ways to go. Um, I don't really think that it'll uh, come out even on the uh, next candle. Um, it's going to take quite a bit of a, of a move for it to actually produce on this candle but um, let's just uh, continue being patient guys I feel like this is a crucial um, candlestick here that man I, I really hope that we can get some buying pressure in the markets right now so we can get that signal I like it here actually I went ahead and bought I bought four calls at 113 I'm up just a little bit already but Let's see if we can get some good buying pressure here. Awesome. Even though my signal did not come in, I see a good opportunity here. I went ahead and sold two. I sold two to lock in some profit. I sold two at uh, 123. And I'm gonna hold the other two. See if we can get a good run. This is great because it's not a question of you know being a losing trade. It's a question of how much am I going to make now? I'm still in this trade, kind of hanging in there. Let's see if it just blows up from here. I sold another one just to lock in just a little bit more. Sold that one at 125. Went ahead and sold the other one. Sold the other at 120. So we're good here, guys. Let me uh, let me show you what I got. I bought four uh, calls, spy calls, the 281 calls that expire in two days. I bought them at a dollar 13. I sold two at 123, one at 125, and the last one at 120 really quick observation before I let you guys go the high of the day is 128 and the highest that I sold was 125 so not doing too bad but again it's probably gonna blow up from here <laughs> usually does after I sell but I'm happy with today's trade guys what's up what's up what's up everybody this is Giovanni from spy options trading TGIM I love Mondays. You guys know this. I absolutely love them. I had an absolute awesome weekend. I hope everybody did. I hope all my viewers and subscribers had an awesome weekend as well. Um, I actually went um, on a small little road trip with my good friend, basically brother from another mother, uh, to go pick up his Nissan Skyline. Really cool stuff, guys. Really unique right-hand drive. But anyways... Today's trade was absolutely awesome, I think. Even though I didn't get an actual signal uh, per my strategy, I was able to recognize that opportunity. It almost, I was looking at all the uh, para parameters uh, that I have set for those signals and it almost met everything except for one little tiny bit. But anyways, I still made um, a winning trade, a good trade, and I feel great. I'm, I'm on this awesome winning streak. Let's get personal, guys. This channel, for me anyways, it's, it's a lot more than just a, a 
trading channel to show my trades. Um, it's my life. Um, every now and then you you get to see my son. He'll make an appearance, and and I just I want to make it very light and friendly, um, and and not just a hundred percent about trading, but it's about my life too. For all my viewers and subscribers, um, you now you know if you've been with me for quite some time, you guys know what happened last year. Still, I'm still trying to get over that. Um, I'm in a better spot, and I'm and I'm in a better. I've become to understand that trading is an outlet for me as well. Making videos for you guys um, has been um, helping me tremendously to get over this situation that, that I was in last year. But I wanna put all my, my energy, all of my focus into my channel, into trading. And it's much more than just to be able to, to make money. It's being able to do uh, something that not a lot of people in general can do, uh, but not a whole lot of traders can do. I know personally a lot of people that are struggling. I'm still struggling, by the way. I'm not 100%. I'm not a professional. I will never be a professional trader. I'm going to say that a thousand times. But I know many people that are struggling to try to figure out where to even start um, heading in the right direction. Um, there's so many misinformation out there there's so many scammers out there that they're just preying on on you guys so i love the direction i love the energy um that i have going towards this goal i do have a goal of one day being able to day trade full-time uh, where i don't have a part-time job i don't have to go to multiple jobs where i can just stay home uh trade make videos for you guys and not even that but like maybe lifestyle videos uh, my day trips, like I like the one that I had yesterday, um, just stuff like that, guys. That is my end game. That is my end goal. Um, I want to spend more time with my son. Uh, I mean, just a lot of great things that I have going for myself and that I'm looking forward to. Uh, to. This is my channel. This is my life. Um, and it's much more, I'm much more than just trading here, guys. Comment down below, guys, what you think. Please, I want some interaction. Um, tell me where you're from. Tell me how old you are. Um, whether you've been in the stock market for a day or for a hundred years. Tell me something about yourself. I want to connect with my subscribers in any way possible. Let's figure this out together, guys. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already before I let you go. I already mentioned this in the trading video itself, but I'm getting lucky. I feel like I'm getting lucky because I'm selling near the high of the day. The high of the day for those call uh, options that I traded uh, were $1.28. I sold the highest at $1.25 and it, it never went back up there and it actually ended up uh, coming down a little bit and trading uh, sideways. I haven't checked the markets right yet, right now, but um, I got lucky on today's trade. I've been getting lucky in the last couple, several trades. Um, when will this streak end? Who knows? I hope to keep it going this week. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and see you guys here again next time.